good evening everybody is interesting you know perhaps uh, whether what can ICT do in healthcare I think that is not debatable the only thing is how we use it that is the main issue already you see this is a very interesting thing you know in America uh, about 27 billion dollars are being pumped in uh, on some kind of use of EMR etc and already there are skeptics to who are uh, debating whether it will raise uh, productivity uh, or efficiency in uh, any major way in US. Anyway, because that is beside the point. See, I will just uh, like to confine myself to, you know, health delivery improvements, etc. through this modality of e-health or m-health or u-health or telemedicine. So, the question is, we have experimented enough. I think wonderful point made by Mr. Saroop, you know, pilots, pilots, and we have a graveyard of pilots. But anyway, sometimes, you know, when you have too many pilots, that itself becomes a ground uh, to test whether what uh, and where they have led us, you see. <laughs> see I, I can tell you, you know, from uh, when this uh, field started, you know, we were at the forefront from two technology ministries, the field of telemedicine. One was, uh, you know, we started uh, when uh, even just before 2000. Uh, using all kinds of uh, technology. Technology was a big challenge that uh, time, I can tell you. Uh, the bandwidth was very costly, the hardware was costly, and uh, the capacity building was expensive, you know, people were not trained. And uh, so we went in integrated way that we'll uh, look at all these angles, uh, all kinds of bandwidth, hardware, different kind of hardware, and, uh, you know, internet, ISDN, uh, broadband, uh, and whatnot. And then, you know, there is a sister uh, department, uh, scientific department, very excited, you see. They also had a program, uh, space for social uh, sector. So, so suddenly we found that, uh, you know, two ministries, we, our, uh, you know, from Ministry of IT, we are uh, trying to develop technologies and apply it, you um, talk to the state health departments and um, collaborate with them and all that. And then, more than two, three hundred uh, satellite-based uh, district hospital connectivity was established by Department of Space. Gentlemen, how many of them are operational? This is a very big issue right now. <coughs> In my own experiments, I find that uh, some of the states, the experiment was very poor, you know. And some, in surprisingly, in some of the states, you know, where perhaps the, the intervention was very effective, in Tirupara it went out very well, Kerala, it was uh, very effective. Uh, so question is, you know, I think we have to very seriously look at what are the factors we, which made, you know, some of the schemes in some states work. In the Tamil Nadu also, you know, the things were more or less operational. So, uh, the, perhaps it was the states which were enlightened or, you know, so this is one particular problem, you see, now you see uh, the e-health thing etc. is coming in a very, very big way. Already Ministry of Communication and IT through a national e governance program, they have plans for uh, uh, bringing telehealth into 100,000 centers through their common service centers. And you see, all other services are started by except for telehealth from those centers. There are some issues which are hindering its... Uh, uh, and now recently I was very excited to see that uh, Ministry of Health through the Planning Commission steering group, they have, in the public health, they have really in, uh, stated that, you know, right from the uh, sub-center level, we should go to the treasury center and introduce telemedicine. So, it is very, very important when we are looking at, uh, you know, in, uh, 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 from pri private sector, which is the national e-governance programs, common service center, which are from, uh, basically uh, village level entrepreneur and you know state level, they are the service uh, agencies who are uh, driving it. And from the public sector, we are uh, bringing the whole thing. You know, already uh, a lot of experience is there, so we have to learn from the experience. <coughs> Dr. Tarun Singh is there, you know, uh, through national rural health scheme, uh, and uh, you know, there also, you know, we did a uh, lot of things. And then you see Ministry of Health and uh, their own task force to look at those things. So this is one thing. The question is sometimes these experiments are very, really exciting. I will just give one particular example. Our setting uh, when a, uh, on -point at Kerala has been a singular success. The programs which we supported there use all kinds of technology and realize that. Uh, and once we were had withdrawn, but the scheme is still running. That uh, uh, gave you know uh, health ministry another incentive to roll it out. I mean, at least plan to roll out, roll it out 
to cover the whole country through 27 uh, regional cancer centers because one uh, state it was uh, really it had functioned well. Gentlemen, Kerala we have been uh, looking at uh, this program but cancer as you say treatment is uh, difficult so the question was can it be used for prevention? So when we did another very exciting experiment and this has been very effectively on right now. We may uh, uh, you know used a mobile or tele oncology unit which operates uh, right now. See you know this program is over. It has, the whole thing has been handed over to a NGO who is managing it. In a very span, this is a one well equipped uh, bus kind of structure which had not only had diagnostic but also a bit of uh, you know um, uh, treatment system also like uh, cryosurgery unit. Only one uh, the most prevalent cancer. We, uh, 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 the cervical cancer was taken as one example because you know if you prevent one you can imagine the kind of uh, trauma you can avoid. So basically for prevention of this thing. <coughs> so question is uh, again you know the cancer held you know the pre-announced date the van will go there the hundreds of people and thousands you know the pre-screening is done and uh, the uh, uh, slightly vulnerable population <coughs> checks and then if there are any of these things, the consultations are uh, done through telehealth to the regional cancer center. Gentlemen, I can tell you one well equipped lab of a van is covering three states. And one span of just one year, 150,000 uh, cases were, uh, you know, uh, uh, scanned through, uh, you know, uh, pre screening and all that. And more than 100, 10, 20 pre-cancerous cases were detected. So that means you have saved so many these things. So these are, I think, my submission is some of the such kind of program. You know, just imagine now the same man is going to cover five districts. Imagine, you know, the uh, a small investment can uh, uh, really prevent a major, uh, uh, a, uh, you know, preventable disease which is uh, otherwise once uh, it manifests it can cause a lot of uh, you know not only prom, uh, problems uh, uh, expenditure and also death so this so my uh, uh, this thing is you know let's study where some programs have been successful where the efficiencies of uh, healthcare efficiency through uh, for delivery have improved through these technologies and use our those experiences Although the pilots have come and gone, but they have left some experience. And why tele ophthalmology programs are running so successfully? Why Arvind Eye Hospital is looking at more than 200,000 cases per year and very successfully? And they are sustainable. Sustainability issues. Why certain, uh, uh, the, the other national programs, when you are bringing in new policies, uh, what can be the things which can make uh, the things sustainable? I was uh, the, uh, you know, the evening when we were discussing. See, one major uh, program I mean, the uh, you know hint you gave was that you had incentivized uh, you know use of that uh, thing. It's not only that uh, a poor uh, uh, un, uh, a common person is get, getting benefited because the doctor is also getting something. So the scheme is uh, doubly uh, uh, operational and successful. So this is I think gentlemen I think we must look at. Uh, uh, this, uh, some of these issues in our EL program to make it much more efficient and uh, usable. Thank you.